Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial. Um, this is from a fan question I had asking how to make um, an equip weapon um, state or system. So you can press like E for equip or something and then she'll play an animation and pull out her sword and it will stick to her hand and then you press E again and it will go back into um, another like unequipped state. So I can show you how to do that. So let's get started. Um, all we need to do first is on our hip somewhere let's just create an empty object and this is where we're going to put the um, the sword when it's unequipped so unequipped and we need to find her hand and create another slot and we're going to create one here and call this equipped so this is basically the two areas where we can equip and unequip a weapon and once we once we're in the game we'll rotate them and position them correctly so first, let's find an equip weapon animation. So we've got equip. So you can see her pulling out the, the sword. And then or we can go for an over the shoulder. I kind of prefer the over the shoulder one. So let's go to the animator. Let's make sure we're in our player movement. There we go. And let's drag, let's look for that equip again and over the shoulder. So let's bring this in and we're gonna call this equip. And let's create a transition. And let's transition back to the um, player. And let's create a Boolean and we're gonna say to equip. And let's put that in the condition to say to equip is true. Turn off exit time and that's all perfect. So now when you press play, she will um, pull out a sword. But of course, it's the, the sword's in her hand right now, but it wouldn't be. So there you go. She'll pull out her sword. So that looks good. Now we just need to um, create the unequip. Or actually, a, a little a little secret way you can do it if you don't have an unequip animation is just to um, actually reverse this animation so you can actually go and put it away. So what we can do is bring out this one and actually put the put the speed to minus one and call it unequip. So this is going to be to unequip the weapon. And we're going to create another ball to say to unequip. Perfect. And let's set that up in here in our condition to say to unequip. Turn off has exit time. And now you'll notice when we press play, she will put away her sword. Alrighty, so now let's quickly set up our um, the actual system that will handle the animations. So we can probably do this. Let's have a look what we've got going on in our weapon system. We could probably set it up in here. So then when we're, we're moving, we can't actually press the left mouse button to actually fire. Um, we've created this weapon system, I'm pretty sure, inside our part three. So if you haven't got up to part three, I recommend getting there. So that way you can um, have this system set up. Alrighty, so let's create, actually before we do this, let's go into edit project settings input and let's create a new input for equip. So let's make a 20. Scroll down to the bottom and then you'll see this one. And let's call this equip. And let's set it to the button E. Perfect. Now let's go back to our player and we're going to say get button down, equip, and once out we press that button, we're going to send the event to equip weapon. Perfect. So to equip weapon, and we're going to put this in here, and let's come down here, and now we're going to say uh, play weapon so we're going to send the animation to start playing um, now probably your best bet um, to get this perfectly working is to use a crossfade so let's just try the crossfade first I find this is always um, works a lot more reliable and won't stuff up your animations as much so let's go to equip because that's the first one set the transition duration to 0.02 and let's just see 
um, how this goes. So let's go back to here, we'll save it, and let's press play. Alrighty, so let me drag this down. So here we go. I'll just click. So let's press E. So now she should pull out her sword. So we kind of want to guesstimate how long it takes for her animation to reach her back. So let's press E. So one. So probably right on one, we want to um, parent the sword into her hand. So we can do this by. Uh, let's close this out. Now our unequipped. Um, area. Let's drag this up in here to her back and we actually might want to parent it to her upper spine so it moves around correctly. And now let's grab the sword, plop this in here and zero out the position and then rotate it uh, accordingly. So let's uh, rotate this. So then it's sitting on her back like that. And if you want to move the position, just move the actual unequipped area so that it sits on her back um, as you want it. Alrighty, so now when you press play, you'll notice that it's out of her hand and it's actually sitting on her back. Now we want to time it so when she press when you press E, her hand, so we might want to move it up a little bit. So let's you can actually pause the game real time by um, pressing Control Shift P. So let's press E. So there we go, I pressed it. So now we can actually move the sword into her hand so we can get the correct position for when she reaches for it. So let's make sure it's up around here. All right, that looks pretty good. Now copy the component. This will copy all the values. You can unpause and then paste the component value. So now when you press play, and you press reach for it, she's going to look like she's actually reaching for her sword. Now it's just a matter of timing. So what we need to do now is come to her player model and then into the weapon system. And now we're going to set a wait command for let's make it right on one second. Let's see how long that takes us. Let's go and make a finished event. And this is going to trigger our parent to hand one. So we're going to say set parent. And we're going to set the parent of our sword. Make sure it's the sword not unequipped. To parent to the equipped slot. And we're going to say reset local position and rotation because we want it to take on the exact rotation of our equipped um, thing. All right. So let's hook this up and then say finished. And let's press play and see what it looks like. Play. So there we go. See, it looks a little bit screwed up. So if we press pause again, Control Shift P, we can jump back into our game mode, and then we can just rotate our equipped around and make sure it is in her hand and looks good. All right. So let's drag this down, and let's uh, let's make it there. All right. That looks pretty good. Now let's copy component, unpause and transform and paste it in there. So now when we press play, she'll pull it out and how good does that look? So now we just need to do the opposite. So now we need to, since it was sitting in this state of parent, we just need to create a new one. So wait for equip weapon, unequip, and then we're back at idle. So, well actually what we wanna do is probably move this, um, the actual, fire the weapon into, so let's go to here, copy these, these ones, copy and paste them into here. Cause this is actually where we're, we're idling from now. Cause this is going to be our equip state. So let's and then create one say two first combo. And we want to set the finished areas of these ones into our, um, the actual weapon slot. Perfect. So now we can um, get rid of this one, delete that transition, and get rid of all of these um, bulls. So let's get rid of these. We only want um, to get the button down to equip the weapon now. Perfect. Now let's um, pretty much reverse roll this. So let's say play unequip weapon. 
and then let's say finished. So when we when we press the get um, equip button, so let's say get button down. When we get the equip button down, we're going to send a finished event to then play into um, the idle animation again. So let's pretty much just copy this, copy and paste this guy. Perfect. Now we're going to just say unequip. Let's just make sure this is spelled exactly the same. How do we spell it? So lowercase e. Lovely. All right, that looks great. Wait for one. We can adjust this time if we need to. Let's grab our parent again. Copy this into the idle. So we might have to reset the position just to make sure that that's all going to work. And in this case, we're going to be equipping it to the unequipped. So when we start the game, it's probably going to um, reshuffle it around. So let's press play. There we go. So we need to, let's just press E. All right. So now let's um, just reposition the, um, the unequipped. So it is in the right location again. All right. So let's move this guy up. And let's move this over to the left a little. Alrighty, now let's copy this component, unpause and paste it in. Okay, now it looks weird, but when you press play, it will um, resync back up. So that looks good. Press play, it will stick to her hand. Now, theoretically, when we press play, I equip again, or well, she will put it away back in the location. And yeah, her head's moving it, but. Um, if you adjust the animation a tiny bit or move the sword down, so we can always, um, let's just drag, oh, sorry, let's press play and then pause. And then let's just grab our unequipped and move it down slightly. Perfect. And then copy component, unpause and then paste. All right. Now when we press E, she will reach for it and that would be great. Alrighty, so that's pretty much a quick tutorial on how to create an equip and unequip weapon state. And you'll also notice uh, when we're out of, um, when we're unequipped and you try and click, she won't actually attack. So when you pull it out and now she can do her combos. And then you can actually press E again and she'll put away the sword and you're good to go. And she's still got her jump animations all in there and then we, when we bring in some enemies, so let's bring in an enemy. You'll notice that we can actually still attack and everything is all set up perfectly. So this has been a very quick tutorial on how to create a sword equip and unequip system. I hope you found this interesting and in the future we can even create an inventory so that way we can um, damage weapons after certain uses of hitting enemies and such and um, it will be all good. So stay tuned for that and also stay tuned for more parts of the, the full third person series. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I will always get back to you. And this has been Kieran Oversapien for Filmstorm Studios and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.